What's going on you guys? It's Eric from Anabolic Aliens. Today I'm here to bring you a video on how to gain some weight. So in the past, in a previous video, I talked about my calorie cycling diet to lose weight, but you guys were like, hey Eric, can I apply the same principle to gain weight? And yes you can, that's why I got the whiteboard ready to go, so I'm going to draw out some numbers so I can teach you guys how to calorie cycle in order to gain weight. Before we get deeper into the video, if you made it this far, congratulations. Now I'm going to ask you to go over to Instagram, give us a follow at Animal Aliens, and make sure you like our last nine posts for the greater good. So we're going to get into the topic, guys. So we want to gain, we want to gain some weight, and I'm going to apologize in advance for my handwriting because it's pretty, pretty terrible. Um, so this is you right here, right? You're looking to gain some weight. This is your body. That's your frame. Woo! There you are. You want to gain some damn muscle. Let's not forget the legs there. So let's talk about this, guys. Let's use this as a general rule of thumb. Let's talk about what calorie cycling is. Basically, every week your calories are going to change. Similar to carb cycling, if you guys know what carb cycling is, every single week your carbs will change. In this case, the calories are just going to change. So let's say for a rough estimate, your daily caloric intake for maintenance is about 2,000 calories, right? 2,000 calories. So. Let's think about this on a weekly basis. We got weeks here. Weeks. One, two, three, and four. So let's say four weeks. You want to try this for about a month to start. So obviously, if you're trying to gain weight, you need to be in what's called, right, we'll write it down here, a caloric surplus, okay? So the typical caloric surplus that you want to be in when you start out trying to gain weight, typically the average number you'll do is you'll add about 500 calories. And that 500 calories is going to pretty much show as losing one pound per week on average. So that's every single day. So every day we want to do that. And in a week, we're at 3,500 calories. All right. So now that we've established that, what that basically means, we need to start off week one. So we're going to start off in a caloric surplus. So right here, we're at 2,500 calories. And again, we're aiming to get that one pound gain per week. But guess what? You're skinny. So you've been trying to do this for a very, very long time. But it seems like no matter how much you eat, you got a frowny face and you can't gain weight. So that's an issue. So what do you do in this situation? Most people give up. They're like, hey, man, maybe I can't gain some weight. But now we're going to try the calorie cycling. So here, calorie cycling. So the great part about calorie cycling is it allows you to change every single week. So it's a gradual increase because like we always say, guys, you don't want to go to a zero to 100 real quick with anything in fitness because everything takes a lot of time. So what we're doing here is we're calorie cycling. Now, the amount you cycle can vary, but for the sake of this video, we're going to keep it very, very subtle. So week one, we were at 2000 calories. That's our maintenance. So let's write maintenance, we're writing M for maintenance. We're plus 500 now. So now we're at plus 500, okay? Right there, that's how you get this number. So now the next week, week two, we want to increase. So now let's say we're up to 2,600 calories. Week three, 2,700 calories and 2,800 calories by week four. So that means by the end of week four, we're in an 800 a day surplus, okay? So that 800 day per surplus basically means we're gaining over a pound per week by definition. Now it's gonna vary, uh, person, genetic, lifestyle factors, all this stuff, age, weight. So it's going to vary, but once we're in that 800 a day surplus, you're gonna do what's called a reevaluation, okay? So this whole time, guys, you need to be weighing yourself, making sure that you can gain weight correctly. So if you're in a 500 day per surplus and you only gained a half pound per week, then you increase. But if you're already gaining a pound per week off that 2,500 calories, there is no need to do that. You just keep eating this. But then once you plateau, that scale says you don't gain a pound per week, now you gotta increase. Now you're back to that 2,600. Then you're back to that 2,700 if that doesn't work. And you're back to 2,800. But the second you start gaining too much weight, you need to go back down because if you're gaining a lot of weight, chances are you're also gaining a lot of fat and that's also going to make you very, <laughs> that's a very unhappy face. So with the calorie cycling guys, what I recommend doing is going up 500 calories per day to start. That way you're in a caloric surplus. Watch the scale for that week 
make sure you're gaining a pound. And if you're not gaining a pound, you need to go up. And if you're gaining more than a pound, I recommend that you actually cut back a little bit. So if you're gaining more than a pound off that 2,500, that 500 surplus, take it back down to 2,400. Work your way backwards instead of forwards. So I hope this video was pretty straightforward. I know there's a lot going on here. It seems pretty complicated. If you guys need some serious help, you can go over to our website at Anabolic Aliens, anabolicaliens.com. I don't know why I said that, anabolicaliens.com. Make sure you sign up for our meal plan coaching, our training. We have a whole bunch of stuff on there. I know a lot of you guys have been checking out lately, which is awesome, but we will totally do all this for you. Take all the thought out of it, and you'll be completely satisfied because most people are usually blown away when they realize that all of this goes into what we do. So I hope you guys like this video. If you like the video, give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave some comments down below. And as always, guys, I will see you in a video after this video because me and Mike usually switch off. So peace.